I'm going to be showing the run from Firelink Shrine through the Upper Burg, through Undead Parish, and then back down to Firelink Shrine. This is the first big loop of the game, and pretty much the path that you are going to open up after you have cleared the first bell and rung that, and before you proceed to the second bell. Now you're going to initially run through this sewer here, and directly ahead of me you will see a shortcut that you will open up later once you've killed Capra Demon. Uh, you'll notice that, especially in the Dark Souls world, uh, instead of just having a bunch of levels, uh, with loading screens and being able to teleport immediately, you instead have to unlock all these shortcuts which will lead you back to previous bonfires and safety zones, and you'll constantly have to be finding keys to unlock them, finding ways to open up passages and all that. What's really nice is everything that you're seeing is places that we're going to go, the first of which is this bridge that is directly ahead of me. Now behind is the first bonfire you're really going to encounter once you enter the upper berg, and I'm going to be running us past the shortcut and showing you where to go. Now if, the, if this is your first time through the game, you generally will get attacked by a dragon. Well, you always get attacked by the dragon, but you won't really know how to beat him. Um, what this does is, you'll see, we'll get forced down a staircase. However, if you are, do have experience and you have the master key, you can open that door, run down through the darkwood basin, go up the other side and you can approach the cathedral where the first bell is uh, from a different angle thus skipping the Taurus demon who spawns right here now for the purpose of this video all bosses are already cleared including the dragon and if you look over there uh, you'll see a tower and that tower is actually where you're gonna ring the first bell again everywhere that you can see is generally somewhere that you're going to go this includes, even if you do look directly up, you can see the tower, you can see a bit of a building, and, you know, uh, giant walls. That's Anor Orlando, and you will go there. This is the staircase I was talking about. You'll get attacked by the dragon, you'll be forced down that staircase, and what ends up happening is if you follow it down, you'll see a ladder, which you can kick, and that will bring you back to that initial bonfire. Instead of the developers spamming the world with bonfires, which are your safe zones, they instead reuse them by creating shortcuts between them, which is very nice. Now this area here, um, generally when you first begin, you will, you'll be fighting, and what that means is that there will be one enemy who will run forward and shut this gate that I'm about to run through right on your face. Now if that happens, you do get stuck on a detour, but if you do run, you can make it directly past him. Now here we're finally in the cathedral, and if you head up, that will lead you to the first bell that you need to ring. Um, but And then to our left is the elevator that we need, but to our right, that is the doorway where if you did go to the uh, through... Uh, to Darkwood Basin. That's where you're actually going to come from. Now, this elevator here only gets unlocked once you reach this point for the first time, and you do need to run in to activate it to make sure that it works. Now, as you can see, uh, we have now once again reached Firelink Shrine, which is where we began. Um, the, it is one of the main two uh, arteries in the game, one of which that one leading up, and there is another further down, which will then take you to the bowels of the game world, where you will then have to ring the second bell. Um, and as you can see, once again, we are right back where we started. That is our big loop.